What's up, guys? So I'm making my first attempt at building a foam airplane this guy around. Um, I'm a balsa wood and covering type of guy. Never tried it on a foam, but watching all the videos online, seeing how cheap they are to build, it was kind of fun. This is just cheap uh, foam board. A dollar a piece from uh, Dollar Tree. Um, watched a video of a guy making a little um, crop duster type plane. He showed a lot of the plans online, how he done it. I kind of took a lot of his design and made a few quote unquote improvements to me anyway. A uh, few design cues a little different. Uh, Going to change the plane up a little bit and make it look a little more scale. Um, I figured I'd take you guys with me as I start this build. Uh, in the back, this will be the um, <coughs> bottom of the wing. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to be the cutouts for my servos. I've already marked out. Um, little spots here will be cut out one and a quarter inches wide, quarter inch wide, and down here at the bottom, this will be my wings bar, I'll be uh, cutting out here, here all the way across, leaving these two tabs, and then cutting this line halfway through, I'll fold the two pieces over, glue them together, and put them into those two slots, and it should line up the wings bar to add strength to the wing. Uh, just going to score all these lines for a fold, the center one here, this one is the leading edge. Uh, so actually I have marked a few lines wrong. That's why I got them marked out. We got to do a little, few little cuts and then I'll all fold over onto it. Uh, the back I have marked out is where the um, wing will fold up to the glue on this one. And then the flaps here. The rest of this will be cut off. So I'm going to get started cutting. And once I start putting this in together, I'll take some more video. Okay, so I got all my parts cut here. Uh, like I said, the holes for everything. And this was going to be this bar rib that I was telling you about. What I'm going to do is just break two. I'm going to cut it a little too deep. Actually, it's almost completely in two, but it's okay. You hot gluing all this together, and then this will just fit down in those holes on both ends. This wing will have a little dihedral, so I made a slice on the top wing. And when I bend the wings up, that slice will come together, fill it with glue. Uh, this is pretty much the exact plans that I found on the internet or YouTube for the wing. I didn't change it really much at all. Uh, the biggest thing I'm going to change is the fuselage just to make it look a little more like an actual plane. Uh, leading edge, just a slot cut for it to help it bend in the lead spot. And then as it comes over to bend for the dihed or the uh, airfoil, I cut a few little gaps out and removed the plastic or uh, paper in those areas to help it bend. Uh, and the paper moved at the very back because that's where it will glue to the spar. Alright, so I got my wing spar glued in, hot glued in, and straight on the line. Next thing I'm going to do is the, I have it marks as the leading edge. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is bend it on that leading edge. I may not be able to do that on camera, but I'm going to be bending the line. And I'll push it over a little bit, see how it fits. Probably end up having to push down the front corner just to smooth it out some. And then I'll be gluing those in place to the back back here. Uh, you can see I've already cut bevels on the back. I'm going to be sanding this down a little bit, but to make it uh, level out more when it lays down here, it won't have such a, a huge, you know, tall hump. It'll lay it out a little flatter on this piece. I've already cut the bevels on my ailerons there, so you can see they work on both sides. So we'll get started putting the wing together now. Okay, so I got one side folded now, and you can see how it works. The spar inside. This one is a flat bottom airfoil. Uh, I didn't want anything real aerobatic on this one, just a nice airfoil to create a lot of lift. And a flat bottom. Uh, aileron goes all the way across the wing, right up to where, about an inch from where I'm going to have my fuselage. About one and three quarter inch aileron, so I've got plenty. Of, uh, control surface on this. I'm using Pico servos. That little box right there will be where the Pico is going to mount at. Uh, I filled those up with glue where the spar came through. I'm going to start folding the other side now and get it done. Um, if anybody of you are watching this is kind of a how-to, I'm not really doing this much as a how-to. I'm just documenting my build. Uh, there's a bunch of how-tos on uh, YouTube for exactly how to do these things. I'm just going as a general idea here of what I've picked up so far and kind of, uh, you know, how I'm doing mine. So if you're looking for a how-to, I may not be the guy to be watching right now. <laughs> just 
doing something to kind of occupy my time, to be honest. And seeing how it turns out. Now I'm going to be adding in two inches of dihedral to the wing. In the center where I cut the little gap out, I've got two foam blocks I'm going to use. Stack them together and just raise the wing off the table. I'm going to pump that hole full of uh, hot glue. Just set it in place with the blocks under one end, holding it in place. Um, the video I watched said that it gave plenty of strength. I'm also going to put some packing tape over it, of course, to add to the strength, but we will see how it works. There's my finished wing, waiting to be painted or covered, however we decide to do this. Um, again, I've been watching the YouTube videos myself to learn how to do this, and I saw someone else that uh, I wish I could remember your name to give you a shout out. Uh, but they were using colored masking tape to cover the wings. So, don't know if I'm going to cover the entire wing with masking tape, but I'll probably just do some kind of graphics and leave most of the plane in the white uh, just to simplify things. I also cut out some end caps and hot glued them in place and sanded them down. Kind of trimmed off the corner a little bit around it here and in the back as well, just so it wouldn't be so square uh, on both sides of the wing. But, that is the completed wing for now. Now to move on to the fuselage.